<laughs> uh, okay then. Hello fellow tube surfers, this is Bubba Drew, and welcome to the Norwood Suite. Or at least the demo of the game. Uh, now, for those of you who've been with my channel for a while, you may remember a game I played called Off Peak. Which is a very surreal experience centered around a train station and the quest for a ripped up ticket. Um, this is the sequel. Uh, it's called The Norwood Suite. Um, it looks really interesting. Okay, and it's a 20 minute demo. Um, I'll probably cut out some parts, but I'll see how far I can get in this demo, and if I like it, I will probably get the, uh, I'll probably get the, uh, full game. Actually, I know I'll get the full game, because it just looks really interesting from the screenshots I've seen. Um, now, one thing I want to say right now is that off-peak, when I played it, it was a really cool experience. Um, very surreal, I think is the right word. Um, it obviously had some sort of meaning to it, but I just didn't really catch on to it. Um, and from what I've seen, this is this game's going to be similar to that. Very surreal, a lot of hidden meaning and stuff like that. I'm just kind of waiting for the whole thing to load. Plus, I'm using a new version of OBS, so that should be pretty good. Um, unfortunately, though, I'm pr it's probably not going to... Um, look very good on screen. Um, but I wanted to use OBS for this just because I wanted to have a face cam. Because there's going to be weird stuff in here and I want to react to it. Okay, as soon as I cut it there, um, it decided that it was going to load in. Okay, well, someone is doing some mad skids in the background. Oh, okay, we're in. Uh, another... Is that a Yugo? <laughs> okay, mouse, look around. W forward, left is A. S is backwards, D is right. Ooh, pretty. And there's a train right there. Yeah, that's a Yugo. There's no doubt about that. That's a Yugo. And so we arrive at our destination. Always click to advance dialogue spoken at you. Okay, let me get a closer look at what's going on here. Oh, okay, those are speakers on the side there. And she's got an eye necklace and a chocolate bar. Okay. The Hotel Norwood. I left a hotel voucher for you in the cave up the hill. Present it at the front desk. It'll get you a free room. Trust me, you'll fit right in. Payment won't be wired to you until tomorrow. One thing to know about the Hotel Norwood, everyone's looking for something here. So in a sense, it's not just you, or just me you're working for. Good luck, we believe in you. Um, Peter Norwood, notable pianist, was the original owner of this- okay, more dialogue. After his disappearance in 1983, this place got turned into the hotel in his name. All sorts of characters stayed here. Some even lived here for years. Yeah, there's a lot of dialogue as well, so if you don't like this, uh, you can just feel free to skip along. But the dialogue's part of the game, so, yeah. A few of those folks might still be lingering. As a spooky ghost! Oh, holy crap, I messed up the mouse. That voucher will take you further than many have come before you. Okay, once again, we have another person that says hi after each sentence, or certain sentences. What's up with that? Dot, dot, dot. Got any more to say? Okay. I, too, stayed here a while back, even before it became a hotel. Memories of long nights in the old damp rooms. The music was great, sure. World class. But my history with this place is better left in the rear view. Puns. Huh. Anything else to say? Okay, it's just gonna loop through again. Who knew a Yugo could carry a canoe like- Whoa, that's a crazy exhaust system you got there. Alright, so... It's pretty beefy sounding, too. <laughs> Alright, I just wanted to see if the whole thing was actually recording or not. Um, now, since it says it's a 20-minute demo, I have a feeling that 
it's gonna cut off after a certain amount of time of me playing so I'm just gonna cut right to the chase here and I really want to make a video of this game so I had to get it the Hotel Norwood oh what's this oh, okay it's another speaker thing yeah cuz this game is also uh, centered around music as well which is not a holy crap I just realized what those were they're head like stone heads Cosmo D presents the Norwood Suite. I love that, the way the text is on the screen there. Yeah, as I said, a lot of surreal stuff. I'm not gonna lie. Some items can be picked up. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so, do I just hit E to pick it up? Oh, wait, no, there's a... Okay, sure, I'll take it. You got a cyclist's helmet. Press tab to open your backpack and select the helmet. Interesting ba helm uh, backpack. Okay, I think I just gotta... Right click to return them to your backpack. Okay. Wonder what significance that's gonna play. What, what is going on here? You can eavesdrop on conversations or interrupt them. But look where we are, Margie. The Hotel Nor... I can't keep up. You usually don't act so surprised. I read about this place a few times. Music history, textbook, album liner notes, the name Norwood comes up a lot. Well, here it is. A big black star on my trusty old map. You're not going to find this place on any new maps, Hans. Well, maybe I wanted to find this place. But Hans, why? DJ Bogart's party, of course. Tonight's his 300th show. Please, why did you really want to take me here? I have my reasons, Margie. Well, should we at least get a room? We couldn't afford a room. Okay, I'm gonna eaves I'm gonna interrupt this conversation. Hey, I think you I've seen you from somewhere. People respond to any item you're holding. Activate an item by pressing tab and click on that item to see their response. Nice! You got my helmet! Alright. So do I just click him? You gave a cyclist helmet. Thanks, I'll take that off your hands. Wow, look at that. Oh, they're, they're, they're not bicyclists, they're unicycle. That is on a whole new level. Right there. <laughs> you can eavesdrop on conversation. Or, okay, yeah, I already heard that. What is this? Buttons can be pushed. I actually want to read this first. Oh, that that's a hand with an apple. Holy crap. Hovering apple at that. Okay, notice. Due to recent incidents on the Lover's Bridge, the bridge will remain closed until further noticed. Nadia management. That's a little bit dark. Or maybe I'm just interpreting that way. Okay, let's just push this button right here. Dee! Oh, okay, it's the light. Can I unpush it? <laughs> yeah. As I said, very surreal experience. What's this? Click on the lever and hold. While holding, pull down the lever. Oh, that's cool. This works for all door handles. Okay, what about this button? Or is this a button? Okay, I guess not. Looks like we're getting in. Look at that. It's a turtle. It's Pennywise's enemy. That's a reference. Kind of obscure, but yeah. More speakers. Some doors need keys. Alright, so that's locked. Oh, and the key's right over here. How convenient. Yes, I will take the keys. Alright, so then I just go here, take the key. Alright, you unlock this door using the aquarium lockbox key. Let's see here. What do we got? Hotel Norwood voucher. Good for one night's stay. What about this? Gate control battery. Okay. Yeah, this is supposed to be also a lot more in-depth than off-peak, I believe. Keys are usually uh, used automatically. Okay, is there anything? Oh, okay, it's just that turtle again, I think. Okay, let's hold the lever down. Lever down. 
Oh, it needs a battery. Some items can be placed. Open your inventory by hitting the tab key. Okay, I get it. Ooh, that's cool. It's all glowing green and all that. That's, that's actually really cool. Uh, one other thing, I'm really sorry if it's really laggy. I still really need to get that figured out. Okay, once again. Are those like speakers mounted inside those talking heads? I think we should get some talking heads uh, music in there. Then it would make a whole lot of sense. Dang, that's another obscure reference. Or maybe it isn't. What's this? Okay, that's like a loading or saving thing. I think. I mean, something's about to go down. And I think something's about to go down right now. Oh, what's this person? Click on the drawer and hold down the mouse button. Greetings, stranger! I see you picked up that voucher there. Alright. Okay, this works for all drawers and cabinets. Alright, so did I just take the voucher and place it? Funny, I haven't seen one of those vouchers here in a while. You're going to want to give that to Dottie at the front desk. Hmm. I want to see what this is. Oh, it's like a map. Or the central lines, or... I don't know, it's like a book. $550 a day, that's expensive. <laughs> wow. No, you just click to just... Oh, okay, you're just gonna repeat the same thing again. Yeah, it seems to really be centered around music, that's for sure. Because I've seen a lot of speakers and stuff like that. What's that? Like a crystal being hung by a chandelier. I'm liking the build-up as well. Um, okay, that's like a music note type thing right there. Is that a DB5? That's cool. Congratulations on your promotion, Lucy. Ah, service at last. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not a valet. If that's what you're thinking. I want to take a look at your car. That's actually really, really cool. The way they modeled that. And of course it's a DB5, so, yeah. Oh, what are they talking about? Not really, okay, I'm just gonna... I'm not really gonna focus on the dialogue for this demo. I'll probably just get the game and then do it. Okay, let's see here. Oh, we got pizza! And we got... Uh, whipped cream? Okay. <laughs> it's a bit weird. I don't think I can do anything else with that. Oh, there's a lot of DB5s. Holy crap. This must be like the executive parking, I guess you could say. TV transports. It's an elongated Volkswagen bus with a skull on the front of it. Okay, we got ourselves a weird Renault looking thing, I believe. Yeah, that, that is literally a Renault. That's the logo right there and everything. I don't know if that's legal or not. Actually, let's see here. Oh, I can... Oh, there's... You gotta open it with keys. What about this? Uh... What? What did I just drop in? What did I just drop in on? There's like a cracked egg and then film reels and a lot of recording equipment. Is this like a... Is this a hippie van? I mean... A VW bus would normally be a hippie van, but holy crap, look at this. Wow. Excuse me, I, uh, looking at the cars in this parking lot. Um, that's just normally me, though. Um, I mean, even when cars aren't essential to the plot, I just take a look at them. All that kind of stuff. Okay. okay, I don't know what they're talking about, service at last. Do I just... <laughs> I don't know. Do I just open all of them? Oh, okay, there's a bunch of books with that percent symbol. I have a feeling that's going to play some significance. Charcoal, we got a sitar or whatever that is, a sword, a dagger, a wand or a staff, and hot dogs. Eternal Grandma's brand, as you can see. Whatever that is. Alright, okay, we got... Ali Ali olive oil, flour, a skull, and either some modern art or some really weird 
chess boards. Um, if you if you're uh, asking questions about this game, I am too. So if you ask questions to me, I will have no answers. It's cheese, and then there's a rope with a hook on it up there, or an anchor. I don't know. We got three balls and a hood or er, hood. Uh, head. <laughs> Very similar words. Okay. We got cones, too. Not much to see there. Oh, that is creepy. It's like a demonic cat in party hats. That almost rhymed, too. Okay, I don't really think I see anything. Huh. Okay, this, this, this thing right here has to... Wait, I just saw some dialogue. Or, no, I just saw the... Dang it, I'm starting to see things now. <laughs> okay, I think it's about time that we, uh... Went up to Norwood Suite. Okay, I don't think... Alright, I guess that's locked. Hmm. Okay, I opened pretty much all the trunks of these cars. Okay, ah, uh, service at last. Hotel Norwood will serve their guests anywhere on the grounds, Lucy. Are you sure this person is even affiliated with the Hotel Courtney? Absolutely. In fact, could you bring us a six-pack of Blue Moose? I'm parched. You know you could get us in trouble for harassing other guests, Courtney. Nonsense. Oh, boy. Blue Moose, please. Okay, I can't... Huh. Okay, so Blue Moose. I'm looking for Blue Moose. Whatever that is. I don't know what that is. Huh. It's gotta be like in a trunk or something. I'm not entirely sure where it could be. I wanna know what this cat is. That has to be something. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna actually see if I can... Okay, no, I can't do anything with that. Alright, there's gotta be like a key in this... Yeah, I got a key. Or no, I don't have a key, but I gotta get into that trunk. There's obviously something there... ...that you gotta get into. I don't know. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's that skull. Man, I'm stumped. I don't know really what I'm supposed to do here. Huh. I am liking it, though. It is a really interesting experience, for sure. Uh, I just don't know where exactly to find this blue moose, whatever it is. Oh, there's, mm, there's a stairway right there. I'm an idiot. <laughs> huh. Okay, oh, we got another save logo in the corner there. Man, this is a very eccentric looking place, for sure. Uh, where to go first? Hmm. Okay, what? Okay, there's wires again. I wonder what that's supposed to be. Okay, DJ Bogart, Blue Moose Energy Drinks presents Costume Mandatory, the Hotel Norwood Basement. Okay, well, I guess I know where I can, I can find Blue Moose now. What's this? Those windows or those stairways? Oh, and also, I haven't touched on the actual music of this game yet. It's uh, pretty interesting. There's some bass and all that kind of stuff. Oh, what's this? Vigor Hall. Piena Forte Recital by Peter Norwood. Okay, tickets served 10 and 7, unreserved, and, okay, that's just a bunch of statistics that no one will care about. Oh, look, it's a kitty. <laughs> Alright, what about this? Notice, due to recent, oh, Loner's Cliff. Okay, the cliff trail will remain off. Huh, weird. Okay, things just got weird. Um, I'm gonna actually back out a second here. Uh, <laughs> so I actually think I'm gonna stop this right here, 
There's probably more to this demo, but I think I would rather get the full game first before continuing any further. I just noticed this is a barn right here. Holy crap. Um, but it's got my attention, that's for sure. Um, and it's supposedly filled with choice and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, if you like the little... If you like the way this game looks, feel free to leave a comment saying so. If you have any thoughts about the game or the video, also feel free to leave a comment saying so. Some creepy noises. And other than that, I think I will see you all later. Look at my pretty face.